Hey and welcome back. In this video tutorial, we'll take a look how to create proxy grass in SketchUp. Before we get into it, I just want to thank everybody that comment and share and like my videos. Thank you very much, all guys. It's very helps and support. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So in this video, we're going to look on three different ways to make grass proxy. The first one is the 3D Archi Studio. It's the 3D tree plugin. We're also going to take a look on the new scattering um, plugin and also on a plugin the name of uh, Ray Trace with the plugin uh, Chris Fillmore tool. We'll see more about that. We are going to start with this uh, 3 3D Archi tree or Archi Studio. To jump ahead for the ray trace, it's minute 4 and 35 seconds. Scatter is on minute 9 and 45 seconds. <laughs> First icon on the left will bring the trees and this is for individual trees. So if you click on the first icon, you get like um, a, a, um, a preview for the kind of trees you can bring into your model. So you just choose any tree and once you're happy with the tree, you just uh, click OK and then you can drop it in anywhere in your model. This is a little bit big, that's because our plan is uh, pretty small, so uh, we'll make a bigger plan for the grass. Okay, so we got a bigger plan here, so uh, just to mention, try all the time to work on the white face on your model reverse the face to have the white color on top. This way you will have the grass pointing up. Second icon on the left, that's the grass. That will bring the grass uh, menu. So basically the way it works, uh, you choose the plan and then you choose all those specs that control the grass. You can make the grass smaller and uh, larger and you can uh, all kind of stuff that you can do with it so experiment and try and then you when you're happy you just press uh, place and you get this uh, nice proxy that simulates your grass so once you're happy um, you can see with the first icon on the right the real grass if you click on it so that will bring the real grass and now you can see how it really looks and if you want to go back to the proxy mode, you just go choose your grass and click the second from the right and you're back to the proxy. Okay, so the main problem with this that it doesn't render on V-Ray for SketchUp with the proxy mode. So that's a little bit a uh, problem. And if you are on the uh, real geometry mode, it does render. You can see it on your render. But you don't have V-Ray material. What you could do is go on to your ma sketch of material a tab and have uh, make materials for all this uh, green grass materials and then you'll have um, some materials for that. Okay so what we can do now we can take this mesh and make it a proxy. If you want to learn more about that you can see our proxy um, tutorial. So I'll just name it grass proxy and once I name it, I'll save it and I'll save it now and I'll put the, just leave everything as default and press just OK. And now I'll make my uh, grass proxy. So uh, this is what I got. Um, it's, you can't really know what exactly is your grass, but this is the proxy. But now if I render, um, I will, I, will ha I will see a uh, full grass like I had um, uh, before. So just a quick summary, if you want to use this method, you need to create all the V-Ray uh, materials. And another small thing, you need to also make your proxy. And you can learn more about it in the proxy video. Okay, so let's go to the second method how to create proxy grass. So in this way, we, uh, this way we go in, we download the grass already made with materials. This guy makes very very nice grass. Check him online. Just search on 3D Warehouse uh, V-Ray for SketchUp um, grass or V-Ray grass, and you'll find some of his stuff. Very high quality grass. 
So I highly recommend to use this model. So once we got uh, a model that he um, with uh, materials and ready for render, what we're going to do now, we need to uh, take our grass and make it a uh, proxy. So we're going to uh, go to the export proxy and once we click on the export pr proxy we need to give it a name so we we'll give it a uh, grass proxy 003 um, save and once we get we get this dialog how many segments and uh, we can define how many segments we we'll just leave it at default in this case and once we do that we get like a proxy grass a nice proxy grass that if we will render we have all VRA material and that's because since our original model has VRA materials so now we want to uh, select it and we want to spread it around so you need to download this uh, plugin ray trace once you download this you get this menu under extension and you go to ray trace under ray trace you, uh, you select the spray can you select the spray can and usually the spray can is like a big cone uh, cone that comes in just it usually comes very big you see 20,000 uh, millimeters so we need to bring it down to 500 and that will bring the some uh, a little bit smaller and now what we need to do is just spray some proxy all over uh, you see those dots the, each one of them will be a uh, grass proxy so I can just go around and spray wherever I want some grass and I get a uh, nice grass uh, proxy ready for V-Ray and I can fill up the holes with uh, the spray can and um, just to mention the spray can works on any um, face so you can by accident um, spray can on on the grass so you have some grass flying over so you need to make sure you didn't get some grass and also you get like some spots that you got a lot of grass on it and some grass has like holes because it's uh, pretty random so you must uh, work on it but if you render you will get a nice result this is our render um, it came out really nice you can see here I got some flying grass in the air so I must uh, erase this one is still I missed it in the first place uh, so this is something that can happen and another thing about it it's very uniform they're all on the same size and all on the same uh, uh, shape and what we want to do we want to make it a little bit more random so for that we're going to use a different plugin this plugin name is uh, Chris Fullimore Tools I will put all the links in the description so check the description so the way it works you need to uh, select all the proxy grass so just select only the grass you can put it on a different layer or something like that and then you go extensions uh, Chris Fillimore tool this is the name of the extension and you choose the last one and scale rotate randomly this is what we want so now we get this window now in this window we can define um, what point we want to scale it so we want to choose the component base next option is the minimum scale factor so this what's going to be the smallest one that we want to have so this is 0 0.5 so that's a half of scale and the maximum uh, factor is uh, 1.5 so that means it will be 1.5 from the original next is the minimum rotation so for minimum rotation we can put any number if we don't want it to do a 360 degree but we can put the zero on the top and then 360 on the bottom the maximum rotation and press ok and this will do the magic it will make some of them small some of them big and also will rotate them in a random way so what I'm going to do I'm going to render this so this is the final render uh, you can see here some of them are big some of them are small this is a very low quality render so you can't really really see all the difference but it does give a nice result so quick summary you need to download the nice grass uh, make it a proxy take the ray trace spray it around and Chris fill a more tool to rotate and scale it okay so now to the scattering plugin so basically the scattering plugin will scatter around um, objects on any surface 
the first thing you need to know is you must have your surface in a group second thing you want to have the reverse faces the white face on top okay. you should also have your object as a group so for this demonstration we're going to have this cylinder and we're going to scatter around on this uh, plane so the first category is the host we can add this plane as a host once we add the plane as a host we have this small demo of the red lines that shows where it's going to scatter the object now let's select the objects we want to scatter so we just select the object and we can see a small preview with the small boxes you can add more objects to scatter around but for this demo we're just going to scatter this under distribution you can control the amount and size here on the spacing you can put more or less objects you can also rotate and do many more stuff here in the distribution menu scale rotate and make it random or uniform or whatever you would like another cool feature is the areas so basically the areas you can draw some areas that you don't want to have scatter or you can draw areas that you want to have scatter so let's put it down to like uh, 0.5 and uh, make our brush a little bit smaller and j just just draw some area of path so now we will exclude this area so now you can see there is no scatter around this area so let's just put the spacing up so we can see the path a little bit better and now we can uh, it's a little bit too much let's put it a little bit down now we can see the the path nice when you're ready you press regenerate and once you press regenerate and now if we render we can see we got all those uh, cylinders scattered nicely on our uh, plan you can use this to anything for people trees plants bushes for proxy grass scatter has a library so brings you already uh, a lot of grass that you can choose so you click the right icon and you get to the library and here you have all kind of grass so you choose any one of those grass and then you can load them into your scatter menu you load them into your scatter menu and then you just choose a host you choose the host and you choose the plane once you choose the plane you get a small preview of your proxy grass this proxy grass comes with V-Ray materials you click regenerate and now when we render we, we will have a nice proxy grass with materials before we render I just want to add um, maybe a path so let's go to the area menu and let's add take the brush and let's uh, make the size to uh, small 0.5 smaller and now let's uh, just draw us uh, abstract and let's draw some path on the proxy grass and, and right away we can see the path drawn on the proxy and this is a great way to control your grass now let's render so um, I didn't regenerate so uh, let me regenerate and render again and now um, after I add the path I you need to click regenerate and once you do that you can see we have a nice path nice gr proxy grass and it's uh, with the V-Ray materials and also render pretty fast this is a low quality render so but uh, it's still render pretty fast so uh, I highly recommend to uh, try this plugin this plugin uh, costs um, as per now 99 euro but uh, it has a 15 days trial so you definitely try the trial and see uh, some of the nice grass and try it and if it's for you and you uh, you think you can use it so you definitely should purchase it I think it's a good good plugin okay so that's about it and uh, thank you for watching please like and subscribe I really appreciate all the comments and likes and subscribe and share it thank you